Hey, it's Matt with Replit here. And one of the most requested things I've heard from our users is that they'd like to know tips and tricks for building with the agent, ways of prompting and interacting to get the best results possible. So today I'm here to share those with you. I have three pretty simple tips. We're gonna walk through them one by one. The first tip I have is to break it down. And when I say break it down, I mean, take this really ambiguous idea that you have for your problem, think about it, compose it into something concrete, and then work towards an MVP first. Uh, my example here is if you're trying to build a house and put solar panels on the house at the same time, it's not really possible to do, right? You have to build the house first, and then you can add on all the fancy bells and whistles, your solar panels, I don't know, maybe you want some kind of crazy garage for your Tesla, right? Focus on building the house first. Think about the core piece of software that you want to build, and then prompt the agent to get to that MVP, and start iterating, start chatting with the agent to crystallize that idea. At the same time, when you're speaking with the agent, keep your language direct and simple. When you're communicating with the agent, think about it like communicating with the junior dev or me. You know, It takes a long time for me to understand things um, unless you're really simple and direct. So like me, the agent also really appreciates simple, direct text. And my second tip for you is going to be to start small. This kind of continues with our house analogy, right? Uh, if you're building a house, it doesn't just appear, you have to lay down a foundation first and then you start framing the house, bringing in the electrical wiring, finishing things up. There are a lot of processes that you have to walk through from start to finish before you can go and like sell that house or get somebody living in it. Now, if you're building software, you also have to lay a foundation. You also have to frame your problem and start building in the structure before you can get to having a polished app. Um, and the agent is actually really great at helping you get that foundation down, helping you configure those services and resources. Uh, and maybe you already see the, the parallels that I'm trying to draw here. So let it do that. But most importantly, focus on things from a first principles, bottom up approach. Um, this is similar to starting with an MVP and the chat interface of the agent is designed for getting to a starting point and then iterating back and forth with the agent to get to something that works. And my last tip for you is to trust in agent. Uh, now, there are some frameworks that currently aren't supported by the agent or that the agent isn't super great at. It's possible by the time you watch this video, we've already released those frameworks. So be sure to check in uh, every few weeks or so because we are shipping constant improvements. But what that means is that when you're prompting the agent, you should let it pick the frameworks. Focus more on the outcome uh, than the method for getting to that outcome. Now, my analogy here is going to be like rice. I really like rice. I eat maybe too much rice. Um, and when I think about how I make my rice, sometimes I'm using, you know, my rice cooker. Sometimes I'm going old school on the stovetop, chefing it up. Steph Curry, we're out here, Golden State Warriors, let's go. Um, other times, right, like I have a friend who is telling me all about her clay pod rice. I hear that's pretty good too. Um, but at the end of the day, if somebody is coming over for dinner, they're not going to care how you made the rice. They're going to care if the rice tastes good. Don't focus too much on exactly what the agent's doing. Focus on the outcome. And so really put your energy into creating prompts that are simple, that are specific, and that describe what you're trying to create rather than how you want to get there. The agent's going to know the best way to take care of that that fits into Replit's framework. So those are my recommendations. Again, those were three simple tips and tricks on getting started with the Replit agent. And if you follow along, you'll be able to get started much more smoothly uh, than you would otherwise. Again, I'm Matt in developer relations with Replit, and this has been tips and tricks for getting started with the Replit agent. Until next time, peace.